different two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Apple plus Pepsi. All right, let's go. All right, my idea is basically just to make the three colors here be the exact same on the Apple logo, but then instead of making it say Pepsi, I want it to say App-C. And then we can also add this black outline around all of the Apple logo. So I'm gonna start by moving this over top of it and resizing it. Then I'm gonna take the pen tool to just get down this exact shape and color this part in red. Then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the blue part as well as to the white part. Now I'm gonna grab the end of Pepsi and bring it into the Apple, duplicate that P. And it does look like the Pepsi logo is its own font, but I did find this A from Zero Sugar. So I'm gonna put that into the A. Last thing is just to add that final stroke on there, and here is the final result. This turned out about exactly how I thought it would look in my head. I do think there's something about it that I really like. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Xbox plus... Ooh, MasterCard! Okay, wait, two circles again. Let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking for this is we basically take this Xbox logo and duplicate it twice and make it be these colors and then whatever overlaps we make orange. But I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the white part, so we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So I'm gonna start by duplicating the Xbox logo and making this one red and this one, oops, and this one yellow. Okay, I'm gonna take that top yellow one and just down the opacity so I can see where those middle lines meet. And I'm gonna select every part that is orange. Then I'm gonna color that in, select this one's white part and mask it. Then if I just move the layers up, it should give us our final result. This one's pretty simple, but I do think something about it I really enjoy. Like, I could, I don't know why, just like the double of the logo. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whatever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Pizza Hut plus Little Caesars. Okay, wait, this is gonna be perfect. Let's go. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is what if we make the hut into like a little skirt for him? And then I can change the name to be Little Caesar Hut. So the first thing I need to do is just erase the words and then just make it the right size and color it in orange. Now I need to add an outline in black around all of it. Now I wanna go into the original and grab all of these little designs and bring them back onto the skirt. Now the only thing left to do is get rid of that part and bring in Itza Hut. Finally color this C black and here is the final result. Keep it down to the name Little Pizza Hut. This one is so cute. I just love the little hut being the skirt. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whatever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Nike plus, ooh, Tesla, okay. I'm already starting to think of some things we can do here. Let's go. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is we turn the Nike logo red and then flip this and duplicate it so that it creates this T. And then I wanna add, instead of a line like this to the top, maybe something a little more swoosh-like. So I'm gonna start by getting this perfectly straight. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and go to transform reflect. Okay, and then I can just move that back over here. Perfect. And I'm gonna turn that red. I've got the Tesla logo in there for a reference. Now using the pen tool, I'm just going to make that top shape. Okay, last step is just to do the transform and reflect one more time and then move this over here. And here is the final result. This one turned out about exactly how I pictured it would in my brain, but I do think the logo actually looks pretty good like this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.